Hello, what's up guys? And welcome back to yet another episode of the First Owner RTG. And now in this one, we are completing two very like questionable SBCs for me to be completing. Um, obviously deserve a player of the month cards, but we're completing Browers mainly because First Owner RTG, we're trying to complete as many of these as we can with the coins that we have just left over. That's pretty much the goal of it. Um, so first up we have Browers here um, We're also looking to like just improve like one league squad So now we have Gus Hill and Browers in our end of his squad um, As well as we can just find some players to put in there um, But yeah over time we'll get more end of and tradable players like special cards that we can put in there And then the second one we will be completing is Robin Lee Norman um, Another one he's a little bit better than oh we have to go and get Morata real quick because that is the player that was in here. Um, but yeah, it's a little bit better than the Browers one um, because he'll be a little bit more useful for objectives, um, especially like icon swaps, whenever that comes out, all that kind of stuff. He'll be very, very good for it. Um, so that's why we're completing the Morata. And he's, he's cheap. Like, um, what's his name? Browers is 10k and Lee Norman is 16 very very cheap and reasonable cards like really just I i've spent i think 11k on both of them because i've had a few there's my club already so there we go completing lee norman there um we also get i don't know what pack we get but we can go ahead and open that real quick um but yeah lee norman in the club now we now have play with kareem benzema and this one now um so he will go right into the la liga squad i think i already have him concept into the la liga squad um there are some other cards we may go to complete um Kevin Prince Boateng, Gulson's Florian Verts are ones that I might decide to do I want to complete Marco Verratti but I don't know if I'm necessarily going to need him so I'm, I'm still thinking about that one we still got four days Verts has eight days Gulson's six and then Kevin Prince Boateng with three um they're cheap they're on 40k to complete so I could complete Gulson's and Boateng um, and have a little bit of coins left over, um, but we will go and open this pack real quick to see if we can grab anything decent um, If we would if we do that'll be Just a dub on itself because yeah, uh, we get a rare goal. It's going to be Musa Suzuka. Yeah, so nothing too great out of it. Um, but yeah, there's two cards into the club um, Frazier Forrester nothing else in there Mark Roca. We'll put them up on the transfer list list them up real quick just to see if there's I think Mark Rocco will probably sell purely because he's from Bayern um but yeah um let me know I don't know let me know if you're gonna be cleaning those cards and yeah I'll see you in the next part of the video all right guys so we are hopping into our final game of qualifications well not our final game we're just giving the guy a win uh we ended up going five and two this week so better than last week uh, but still not as good as we have been. The two games we lost, we really should have won. Um, yeah, it's kind of been the same deal with champs this year. Just games that we are losing that we just should be winning. Um, that we've just, you know, choked in the final stages. But, yeah, we qualified already, so we're good for next week. Um, honestly, I like doing, even though we did all of our games on Friday, which was not the play, um, I think... Playing champs on Friday and Saturday, and then on Sunday doing our qualification games is definitely the play. So we have the week to kind of grind out objectives and all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, so that's definitely the play. But we do have our packs up now. Um, so let's hopefully see something decent out of these packs. You never know. Um, we do have the gold players pack and the 225k packs, as we always do. Um, good for players back in the club. That's always the plus with these. Gold players pack is going to be nothing. So we'll go ahead and move swiftly on from that pretty quickly. Um, do we have anything else? Aribe. We can put them up to the transfer list. There we go. Alrighty, alrighty. Now, 225k packs. Have we gotten lucky this year yet? No, we haven't. Um, hopefully, at some point, we can get lucky out of a qualification pack. It's going to be a board here. It's going to be French left back Teo. Teo or Froland, man. Teo or Froland, it would be absolute scene because they're actually worth a bunch of coin. But yeah, Lucas Hernandez is not 
what we want. Aranki, Sadibe, Roman Saiz, and Atiba Hutchinson. I want to make sure I have that correct. It's Atiba Hutchinson, right? It is. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. All right. I actually have a picture of him with the Copenhagen squad from like 2008 when he was there. Um, but yeah, second 25k pack. It's going to be nothing. It's going to be Brazilian striker. It's going to be Rich Arlison. And the rest of the pack is going to show us what. Jonathan David, Mark Alonso. Yeah, nothing really else in here. Rich Arlison up there. Ben Decor, Huertas, and Russell. They can go up there. So, not too shabby. Um, I don't know what the next part of this video is. It will probably be like an SBC or something that we complete because we might get content today. I might be completing Parejo, Marazzi, Kevin Prince Bowens. There's many things that I'm considering on doing right now, uh, but I'm going to wait for the 6 p.m. content today, which is currently out in 30 minutes to see if we can grab anything good um, to continue building our first owner squads for multiple leagues and all that kind of stuff. Every one of these cards would be perfect for that. So yeah, I'll see you in the next part of this video. Yes, guys. So the final part of this episode of the first on the RTG today, currently on the Monday, we did get ourselves, already did the 6 p.m. content video. We got ourselves a 78 plus player picks. Now, um, I did two of them before my 6 p.m. content video. And the first one I did, I got Harry Kane which is great fodder. And then we also got Rehan Mars in the same one. And then the other one was Emre Chan. Then we did three for the 6 p.m. content video. And then we got Ricardo Pereira and then I think like 280. So they're gonna give out fodder for the club, which could help us do the base icon upgrade eventually. Um, I don't know if it's gonna be anytime soon. It's soon, it's like in this video. Um, but depending on like champs rewards this weekend, all that kind of stuff, we might be able to get it. We might be able to get it done after if we get enough fodder so into the first one 70 plus player picks hopefully we can see some decent stuff starting off with Pedri, some not too good another one it's going to be felipe exactly what i'm looking for good good fodder third one is going to be i do want to see a um a rule breakers yeah if we can see one rule breakers i wouldn't be too to oppose to that i would love to see a rule breakers even if it's a very poor one alex tellez we're gonna keep taking these even though realistically i mean realistically they're not high enough rated for that kind of stuff kai havertz perfect exactly what we're looking for although not the best we haven't seen a walkout yet surprisingly that's a poor one we'll take ducore um another one here boom what's it gonna be marlos wow not too good. Honestly, I was expecting a bit better from them. I was really expecting a bit better. A Cherby, at least it's a board. At least it's a board. Another one. A duplicate Harry Kane. Okay. <laughs> a dupe Harry Kane. We just got him out of one of the player picks. Callum Wilson. That's not too good. Another one. Boom, 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 boom. It's going to be Lars Stindl. Not good. Another one. Thorgan Hazard. Oh, we can't quite get a uh, get a good one here. Now we're on our way back already. Come on, EA. Carvajal. Okay, 85. That's not too bad. We'll take it. Another. Rafinha. Uh, come on. Giovanni Lo Celso. Ah, it's boring. Eric Bailly. Uh, surely we can see at least one more walkout, right? Wow, they've really not lived up to the expectations. Wow. Duvon Zapata. It seems every time we get a board, it's two. It's never just one. And Dombaler. It's, it, they have not been too good, have they? Obviously, we got Harry Kane, but we'll take Carlos Vela because they're both going to be dupes. Another one. Acuna. That's okay, to be fair. That's okay. It's good fodder. Coates. Again, good fodder. Last two of these 78-plus player picks. John Stones. 
again, fodder, and then another one right here. David De Gea. Okay, we end with a board. So, looking at it, not the expectations that I thought. How many boards? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we got eleven boards. Um, one walkout out of 25 of the 70 plus player picks. If you have fodder in your club, non-rare golds, uh, low rated rare golds, all that kind of stuff, they will be worth it for you to complete just to get some higher rated fodder into your club. And if you don't have enough fodder to complete the icon pack right now, that will get it done for you. So yeah, complete them if you want. You'll probably have better luck than I did, to be honest. Um, but yeah, at least it's fodder back into the club. Um, now, we can actually go take a look um, at what we can do here. So, I'll show you what I'm doing currently for the icon pack. Um, do I have it favored? I do. So, we have like a fair bit of fodder in our club. Like, that's the fodder we have. We can definitely find a player to kind of slide in there to get more rating. Um, we could even throw Al Jabbar in, to be honest, for. It's not going to be enough. Uh, what else can we do? I, I think we can get this squad done, to be honest. But then after we don't, after we do this squad, we're not going to have enough. Like, it's, it's, that's not even enough either. Like, we're not going to have enough half of that to do the 86. That's the problem. Um, it's very unfortunate. It's very unfortunate because we, like, we need some of these players. And I, we could buy players, but the thing is, the fodder has risen up, man. Like, it's risen. Like, so it's going to be tough for us to complete this, but we'll probably get it done eventually. Um, so, yeah, all the special cards we want to keep in our club. That's what we're doing this year. We're trying to collect all the special cards that we can. So, yeah. We have a lot of fodder in the club, but it's not necessarily high rated. Like, we got plenty of 83s, plenty of 84s, we got some 85s, but then it kind of like dips from there. So, we might consider not doing this and waiting for something else. Um, we'll, we'll see, because I don't want to complete this, put all the fodder in, and then get a bad player. Like, going from like an RTG perspective i really don't want that for the rtg knowing my luck as well we're not gonna get anything good like we are not gonna get anything good unfortunately um i already just, i already know I, I already know um so maybe we'll wait for like a player sbc um that we can use just a, a little bit of our high rate of fodder and then save the rest and keep adding up until we see something really 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 good value that we want to complete Obviously, we did get the two Icon Player SBCs today, um, which is already here. They put the Icon tab, tag, tab up here already. Miroslav Klose and JJ Okocha. They're, neither of them are worth it. 500k for this JJ Okocha when he's 300 on the market. I don't even think he should be worth 300k. He's got good dribbling, but that's about it. Uh, five star, four star. Uh, Miroslav Klose, just not good on this game. Dribbling's poor. Shooting's good. That's the only really good thing about that card. So yeah, we could go ahead and complete one of these, but like, it's it's again with the base icon pack. I don't feel like we should. It's just not ideal. I think we should just keep going how we're going, completing the SPCs that we want to complete, all that kind of stuff. And yeah, um, move on from there. I think next episode you will see us completing. Um, Rule Breakers Fellaini, as well as the new Silver Stars objective that will come out. Um, and then, yeah, I don't know, something else. But I think it'll probably be that, that, and then on Thursday we'll have our Rivals Rewards, which I gotta play a bit of Rivals. So that's probably what it will be. Um, completing Fellaini, completing the Silver Stars player, and then Rivals Rewards. That's gonna be the next episode that you see. Um, but yeah, if you did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like, comment, all that kind of good stuff. I'll catch you in the next version of the RTG episode very soon. I'll see you then.